All right, one more thing that I had wanted to add that um, I may have forgotten to add earlier or in my previous videos per se was the whole idea that uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it was it's the whole idea that uh, oftentimes with dating, it really just represents symbolism to this point. In my humble opinion, and oftentimes we mistake symbolism for progress now where i came at with this idea was uh it was just based on a previous live stream that i used to be on or that i was on per se and um you know we was just talking about how you know with the whole million man march and the civil rights movement you know all this marching but yet nothing's getting done so all this marching and the civil rights movement overall has just been a symbolism Yes, it has been a symbolism. There hasn't really been a lot of progress since these movements and these marches. And so I see a day that's really as a march to nowhere for the most part, because ain't that what happens usually after these dates? Your progress with that relationship, per se, didn't go anywhere. It was just a date. And so that's why I do things differently now in regards to dating. I treat it as an interview so that there can be some progress or at least I can make sure that there isn't no waste of time given that there won't be any progress. And a lot can be said or done before that interview takes place. You know, the fact that someone, a, a, a prospective woman per se, even has the opportunity to be on a date with me. There has to be a lot of things that are clicking with her and I before we even get to this point of meeting each other in person. Um, a lot of things can be said as far as her temperament, her uh, her availability, her convenience, her temperament. Um, a lot of things can be based on that. I mean, you can give her a different time to come meet you, see how she responds to that. Maybe she might feel like, oh, wow, that's too much. Or, you know, she don't like to be spontaneous or she wasn't even expecting for you to meet her. And that threw her off, probably made her more nervous than expected. Who knows? But let's say all that was, you know, put aside. And you at least got to the point of meeting her, right? But. At this point, hopefully it is based on the fact that there is some progress. You know, you don't want to have a waste of time because that's what it is now with these dates. It has become a waste of time. There ain't no progress with these dates. You're not progressing beyond these dates. That's why these dates should be treated as nothing more than the interview. So that after that, bro, you can be like, man, she ain't even worth it. And as I've said in my previous videos about my thoughts on dating, you just make it like a mini date. Have her meet you where you are, not you arrange your time, your schedule, your day around her. You know what I'm saying? She comes to meet you. Let's see how that goes. And go from there if you are willing to progress with her after her meeting you where you are, you know, depending on where you decide to hang out at on your own. Um, But that's that's what I see. That's that's just kind of how, how I wanted to wrap that up, because, I mean, that's where that's where we're at right now. All, all this dating is symbolism. And, and for a lot of uh, females that aren't real women, that symbolism goes a long way for them to just brag to their girlfriends about, hoping that they can use you for a meal or just whatever the case is, or just to get an idea to look at him and find ways to humiliate him while he's paying for all your food and drinks, right? And there be no form of intimacy that has taken place before the date or the interview has even taken place, right? Because I'm like this. Even if I hadn't yet had sex with that prospective woman, we at least have some type of intimacy to where I just can't wait to see you, baby. And she feel the same way about me, right? But with these dates, more or less, if a guy's just thinking with his flesh and not with his spirit, you know, He's just thinking about trying to have sex. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get any intimacy out of that. You're just thinking about one thing. And guess what? She is too, but it's not sex. And if it's sex, it's not sex with you. You're just preparing her for sex with somebody else. You know, that's all that is. But, um, but all, but yeah, I just, I just wanted to wrap that up by saying dating is, is it's just now symbolism. It doesn't represent progress. 
Yeah, you're marching to um you're you're marching to the date per se, but you're going nowhere with it. That's no progress. Y'all not going any further with it at all. So for anybody checking this video out, just make sure that when you're spending some time with somebody, or even if you're contemplating that, make sure that there's progress. That y'all two on the same page from day one. Not none of this trying to, you know, get to know somebody and all that stuff from day one. You know what I'm saying? And you, and you build on that, that progression. If anything, you being around that person and meeting up with them, per se, you being around that person in meeting up with them just represents that progress. It doesn't represent that symbolism. Don't just take a chick out on a date just because she wants you to take her out on a date. Has she earned that time for a date with you? Has she earned that time for a date with you? That's the main thing you want to ask yourself. Because I often see that not the case. This is a bonus video because I was going to put this on my videos that I had for 2019. And I can't add it to 2020 right now because of the way that I got my video cycle set up. So this is actually a bonus video for my thoughts on dating, given um, the way I got my video titles set up. My video categories, per se. Comment below. Hit that like, feel free to share. Until next time, signing out.